Vantris VUR Endoscopic Injection Procedure After satisfactory induction of general anesthesia, the child is placed in a lithotomy position. Vantris VUR is endoscopically injected Rigid or flexible pediatric cystoscopes can be used. It is recommended to flash physiological saline solution through the injection needle. Then the injection needle should be fastened tightly to the syringe. Before inserting the needle into the working channel of the cystoscope, make sure the injection needle is filled with the appropriate amount of the bulking agent. Due to its high fluidity, Vantris VUR allows a precise injection using a 23-gauge needle without the need for any additional device. To maximize the procedure's outcome, two surgeons should be involved, one assuring an ideal visualization positioning field and the other executing the initial puncture and injection of Vantris VUR. By filling the bladder with variable volumes, an optimal view of the ureteral meatus is achieved. Ensure that the eye of the needle is facing the ureteral orifice at a 6 o'clock position. The puncture should be done in the bladder submucosa three millimeters below the ureteral meatus at six o'clock position and reaching a four to five millimeter depth into the ureteral submucosa. Slowly inject the bulking agent until the normal anatomy is restored. Usually a crescent-like shape can be observed. Once the injection is completed, the needle should be kept in place for 30 seconds before it is removed. According to clinical reports, the average volume injected per ureta to resolve the reflux is 0.6 milliliters.
Vantris VUR Endoscopic Injection Procedure 3D Animation